Alright, guess what? Today we had, well, yesterday, we had some drama on Twitter with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. So, let's get into that. And so I tweeted out this reply right here to the post that NASCAR made about um, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. winning the award for most cars passed for the season. Ricky Stenhouse sent this reply to the tweet. Negative. I was already in front of that race if you didn't know that. Can't even spell I correctly. I'm supposed to capitalize that. But um so then he's he's gonna reply to that. So then I'm like, alright, I'm gonna reply to him. And this is what I said when I replied to him. And when he caused those two big ones in the Daytona race, if they counted those cars as cars that he passed, the cars that were in front of him that got in the wreck, then he would have passed probably like five, six, or seven cars from wrecking them in that race. So, really the only reason that that race would give him the award is because if he won the award by like five, six, or seven cars. Now I looked online, I don't see anywhere where they're showing like who finished second in their thing, how, how, like what counts as passing a car, can you wreck someone and get credit for the award, so I don't know. So I probably wouldn't be too happy if that is how he got the award, it's from wrecking people. But I do believe he got the award from the Bristol Spring Race where he spun out a couple times and still managed to finish fourth. I think that's where he got the award. So I would send that out in a layer tweet and he would, as you see here, he would like that tweet. So I think he kind of agrees with what I'm trying to say there. So I think we're cool, but we'll see what happens. And yeah. But obviously, the funniest part about this whole thing is it happened right before I was going to upload worst number 17 car crashes. So expect that video to come out later tonight in a premiere.